your heart come out Run away with me We could dance all night If you stay with me Where the stars never fade in the sun Welcome to my weekend vlog. I, well, it's Thursday and I am heading off to go get my oil change in my car. I have a scheduled appointment this morning, so already this morning I was up and uh, went for a couple mile walk. I've been doing that the last two weeks with my neighbor. So um, I actually went back to putting my jawbone on for this thing here just so I can start tracking my steps. And um, I don't know, I just need to get myself on some kind of a healthy routine before this summer is over. So uh, I'm glad I got my walk in nice and early, went at 7 a.m. So now actually I'm gonna run to, um, where am I going? Dunkin' Donuts to get a coffee. Um, they don't have a Starbucks near where I get my oil change at the Toyota dealership. So I am off. I'm going over train track. So excuse all the bumps, you guys. Coffee because there isn't a Starbucks near um, where I'm going to get my oil changed. So I'm going to get a coffee because I just wait. Normally it takes just about not even an hour. And then um, I have my iPad with me. Maybe I'll respond, respond to some comments from this week's videos that came out. Hopefully you guys liked our videos that were out this week on my closet makeover. What a mess that was. But you guys will be happy to know that I've kept my closet so neat this entire week since. And um, I love it. I just so much love it. I know where everything is. And matter of fact, the capris that I have on today, they're cute little, really cute jean capris. I didn't even know I had. I must have got them last year. Isn't that terrible? So anyway, I love them. So I'm so happy. <laughs> so there's a lot of clothes that I, you know, just I feel like I got sort of a new wardrobe. So I encourage all of you to go ahead and do that because it's really like having a whole new wardrobe because as you guys saw, I had a lot of clothes and a lot, I didn't even know what I had. And I still got rid of so much. And I wanna thank all of you guys for your suggestions as well because Instead of a Goodwill, I'm going to give, well, whatever that they will take to, um, there's a couple women's shelters in the area, and um, I really want to um, do, I have like really nice blazers and stuff, so um, whatever they'll take, I'm going to give to them, so I know some of you suggested that, and I thought that was an awesome idea, so thank you. All right, girls, guys, whoever's watching this, I'm going to go get my coffee and head off to Toyota, so I'll see you there. Wow, that was a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> so, the line was a mile on the drive up, which is fine because I'm gonna move this for one. Because honestly, I've been trying to tell myself, whenever you can't, just walk. You know, don't go to the drive through to get your coffee. Go inside, that's extra steps. So I did that. And they have, um, I actually just went to, like I said, Dunkin' Donuts, they have their pumpkin, pumpkin spice. So. I just said I want one pump in my coffee and I, I don't even I think maybe I just ordered a medium I don't even remember so I walk out and as I'm getting in my car and I open, I'm opening my door a car pulls right next to the parking spot where I was not giving me much room so I've got my wallet my keys my phone and I've got my um, coffee and I was trying to fumble all of it, so I thought, well, maybe I'll just put it on top of my car so I could try to squeeze in my door because this person was so close to me. And when I went to put it on top, it didn't stay steady, and my coffee tumbled over and spilled everywhere, all over my car, my clean car, let me tell you. So anyway, I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm like picking up, you know, the cup and the lid, and I go back into um, Dunkin' Donuts. I'm like, I spilled my coffee everywhere, trying to get in my car. And the little girl goes, she goes, oh my gosh, don't worry about it. So I'm like, you know, here, I'll pay again. And she's like, no, no, don't you worry about it. So she had the girl, another girl, make me coffee. And she ended up giving me like this huge one. Huge. <laughs> so I'll be floating after all this this afternoon. But that was just so sweet of her. And anyway, they didn't have to do that. It was my fault. 
But anyway, that girl wasn't very nice of her. But I'm almost pulling into the dealership to get my oil change. So, what's in store this weekend? I've got stuff going on. So, it should be a really fun weekend, hopefully. So, you know, I'll be bringing you along. So, I will check in with you in a bit. Hi everyone, we are actually getting ready to go to the uh, high school football game. This is the opening game I think I told you guys earlier today. So it's always exciting to go to the first football game of the season and it's actually well, 77 right now. So I think it's actually chillier than that. So um, anyway, I've got my new little cardigan on. Remember the one I showed you guys on my vlog last time? And um, so I'm looking forward to the game. And uh, Little Orchid, Lauren will be there because their daughter Madison is in the marching band. So that will be fun to see her. And so anyway, we're looking forward to it. Football season is always just so much fun and we really love going to the games. I got the sun blasting in here. So anyway, I'll try to show you a little couple snippets. Um, trying to avoid the sun but anyway when we get there. See ya. guys well we just got back from the football game and we won our team looks really good this year so I'm very excited about that and anyway I'm gonna have actually a cup of coffee I know it's a little bit late but I'm sure I'll be up for just a little bit and then tomorrow I'm gonna get up early and go walking and then get ready and I get my nails done tomorrow so um, I'll see you guys in the morning <coughs> Hi guys, good morning. Um, I look hideous. My hair is a complete frizz ball. I just got done walking three miles with my neighbor Jackie. Huh? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and anyway, so now I'm gonna have some breakfast. And, um, but anyway, we had a really fun night last night at our uh, Bulldogs football game. Um, actually, friends of ours, their son is a freshman and he started as quarterback and he did an amazing job, so. Good for him, and I think he has a really good career ahead of him. So that made it very exciting. So uh, anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm having for breakfast this morning. I love, I think I talked about this before, this Ezekiel bread. Um, I toasted it, and I have some fresh tomatoes on there from our farmer's market, a little salt and pepper. Yum, yum. So I'm going to enjoy that breakfast. And I'm going to have my coffee, so, um, and then I'm going to shower, and then I need to go buy a gift for our friend's um, 25th anniversary party we're going to tomorrow, so. Anyway, I'm going to eat, and then I'll chat with you after my shower. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I just put my makeup on, and uh, I know when we did our fall lipstick shades video, we were asking you guys about, you know, certain colors, and I know, um, so bad I can't remember your name but I will list it below suggested that uh, I try Plum Dandy by Mac so I went and got it it is such a gorgeous shade if you guys can see and uh, anyway I have it on right now of course with Plum a lip liner so anyway it's, it is a very pretty fall shade I'm not sure if the camera is actually picking up how pretty it is but I really like it so anyway, um, I've got on copper, copper ring, I think, um, eyeshadow on the lid, and then I've got the uh, Too Faced Semi-Sweet uh, Chocolate Palette I use a little bit on top. I've been really trying to, you know, I have um, my eyes naturally slant down, and I have hooded eyes, so 
sometimes when I see myself when I look at my eyeshadow and I really do I like a darker kind of crease uh, it just my eyes just look so even droopy and heavy so I've been trying to really lift them a little bit so I was watching Wayne Gloss video and a couple other videos and just trying to practice techniques on how to like lift this so one of the things that I did um, pick up from them was basically um, just lifting your eye lifting and then pulling it and then just going straight across straight across instead of down like you normally would into a crease the eye socket area because with my eyes that just drags them down so I've been trying to practice that look a little bit more um, to just have more of the lifted look I don't know it really stinks getting old I just don't like it but oh well I'll just keep trying to fight it every step of the way so anyway I am going to um, do my hair and finish getting dressed and then um, I'm gonna go for a gift like I said for my friend Jill and then I have got my nail appointment and for those of you that asked what shade this was because I'm getting this one I'm getting another shade now um, I'll try to look to see uh, on their shelves what color this one actually was because I can't remember because I know you guys wanted to know and then I picked a couple shades here from home that I'm gonna take with me and we'll see which one I choose so I'll check in with you guys probably right um, around when we get to the store and I start looking for a gift for our friends all right, you guys, I am all ready. I'm gonna head out to the store. But I wanted to show you guys, you'll be so proud of me, how nice and neat my closet still looks. All right, here it is, still nice and neat. All my shoes. So everything still looks really nice. But what I've been doing too, as I am, you know, using a sweater or a shirt or whatever, and I take it off, I've been putting my, you know, the hanger that I take it off here. So then when I want to hang it back up, I'll just, the hanger's already here. I know where it is. I can hang it back up. Or if it's going to go in a wash, then I'll just take these. Well, actually, I've got a lot of extra hangers, as you guys know, um, from when we did the closet. So, um... Anyway, I have a ton in my laundry room, so I really don't really need to move these to the laundry room. But anyway, I thought I'd put those there so when I go to hang my stuff up, I know where the hanger is. So I'm really trying to stay organized. So if you guys have not much to do this weekend, I suggest go organize that closet. It feels so good. And by the way, I also did call the women's shelter here in our area, and they were very excited to have me donate my clothes. So uh, the one lady is going to call me back, and we're going to, um, you know, make arrangements. So anyway, I'm really happy about that. It makes me feel good to be able to just have my clothes, maybe help someone else um, make a new life for themselves. So anyway, let's get to the store. I'm gonna make my Starbucks to go while I run my errands today. You guys know I've made this food before. Put a little cream in here. A little squirt of my mocha. I'm trying to hold Archie and do this. Isn't this pathetic? So he won't yip the whole time I'm talking to you guys. A little squirt. And let me see, I'm not sure what flavor do I want, you guys. I might go with Nutty Caramel. Got so many flavors. <laughs> Crazy. Can't wait for the pumpkin spice Dunkin' Donut to come out. All right, let me see, do I want eight? Yeah, I'll do eight. So that's gonna brew. I'm gonna stir it around. Add some ice and we'll be set to go. All right, I got my mocha that I made for myself. Bring in a kind bar because I'm gonna be out running errands and I know I might get a little hungry. So anyway, let's go shopping. Alright you guys, 
because we're going to dinner tonight over our friends, uh, Jody and Gary, as you guys know them. And uh, I wanted to bring a side dish. So I'm going to bring uh, this eggplant that I really like. And it's healthy and so simple to make. So basically, you get an eggplant and you slice it. And I already did that right here. And we're going to dip it in egg whites in a splash of water, which is right in here. <laughs> And then we're also going to dip it in Pecorino Romano cheese. Delicious, huh? And then we're going to sprinkle it with some garlic powder, a little salt and pepper. We're going to bake it at 400 for 30 minutes. And then we're going to take it out, and then we're going to put a little tomato sauce on to stick it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. So basically, I have here the sauce. My phone's ringing. Just ignore that. And the cheese and the garlic powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started and I'll show you when it's done. Hey right, guys, we're over at Gary and Jody's and this wine was a suggestion from Sunny Beach Couture, Jennifer. So we are trying it, Jennifer. So Jody, what do you think? Delicious. It's so Very good. good. So we're gonna enjoy this tonight. So thanks for the suggestion, Jennifer. All right, you guys, I have to show you this cool thing. If you guys love green grapes, you got it. Check these out. They are so good. Check this out. These are green grapes, and they taste like cotton candy. They are so delicious. It's like eating something healthy, but it tastes like candy. So good. Jody picked these up today, and she got them at Sam's Club, so check them out. They're so good. Saturday everybody I got my buddy in hand because God knows he knows my new camera so yeah as soon as I pulled it out he's like staring at me <laughs> he's crazy <laughs> anyway happy Saturday so today I'm just doing some stuff around the house and then tonight we're driving to Pittsburgh again to the uh, party the 25th anniversary party so I can't wait to uh, see some friends like I said I hadn't seen in such a long time so um Anyway, hopefully I can vlog. I'm gonna ask them if they mind. So we'll see if they're camera shy or not. But I wanted to show you, have you guys, I'm sure you probably have in your areas. It's called Sip and Paint. And basically you um, can bring your own cocktails, you know, can be non-alcoholic or uh, non-alcohol or whatever. And they provide snacks and stuff. And then you paint and you follow the instructor and you make something so I trust me I'm not an artist so my husband actually is a great artist um, but anyway my daughter uh, my oldest Morgan um, if all goes well so say your prayers there she's buying a house and uh, so I thought I'd paint this um, for her a room I don't know even if she wants it in the basement or the laundry room but I asked her what colors that she would want so Hopefully she'll like it. So here, I'm gonna show you guys. Let me flip my screen around so I see where I'm going here. It's a flower. And she wanted the, uh, I got a mirror, I mean a window here, so hopefully it's not interfering with the light too much. But anyway, this is it. I don't know if you can tell, but we painted, she spray painted the lady um, at the end when I was done, spray painted these spark, like a sparkle on it. Anyway, yes, that's what I made. <laughs> it's hilarious, actually. But anyway, it's a flower, and you know, flowers aren't blue. But because her theme's going to be like more of the um, darker grays um, on some of the walls that she wants, so we'll see about that. And I also wanted to show you guys. I'm flipping this around. Oops. wanted to show you guys I got some room sprays I love room sprays so I got pumpkin caramel swirl 
and of course who doesn't love sweater weather love it actually I had this one I had the windows open the other day because it was such a beautiful kind of 70 ish day Lauren was coming over to do some blogging and videoing and as she's walking up to my front door she's do you smell like it like caramel or something I mean oh my gosh it smells so good out here and here I just had a couple little sprays of this and somehow already went out my windows and she's you can smell it from the end of your driveway I'm like are you serious I'm making the neighborhood smell beautiful and then I have, um, of course, you guys know I have a huge collection of candles from Bath & Body. This one is um, Black Cherry Merlot, I think. And I love my little owl. That's how cute this is. I love him. So anyway, I wanted to show you some of my little false scents. I'm not quite a Yankee Candle fan, you guys, but they had a sale, and I just thought, oh, what the heck, was buy one, get one. So I picked up Autumn in the Park, and actually it smells really, really good. And one of my all-time favorites from Yankee has always been um, this one here, Autumn Wreath. So I've got those, and I've got a stash of Bath & Body already in my cupboard waiting for uh, whenever these ones burn out. So I normally put them all over the house, and I haven't decorated for fall, for fall yet, so I'm thinking when you guys are with me in two more weeks, I will be decorating for fall. So I will show you everything. And I love fall. My husband told me last year, if you come home with one more pumpkin, I swear to God. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, I'll show you that. And the flowers that I always have, the window box outside that actually I'm ditching that today. I do really a beautiful display, I think, for the fall in there. So I think I will maybe, maybe we'll do that as a video or something. But I will give you guys sneak peeks into it, okay? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go do some more cleaning, maybe vacuuming. You know Archie, he tries to attack the vacuum, so he's going to have to go in his crate for that one. And then, um, I don't know, my husband and I are going to do some putzing around, and my phone's ringing. That's probably him right now. So I'll check in with you in a bit. Hi everyone, well we are in Pittsburgh and we're going to get ready to go to the anniversary party. So it's a beautiful day, so it was a great day for a drive and I'm looking forward to seeing some friends that we haven't seen in a long time. So it should be a fun night. So anyway, I'll try to show you a little bit if I can, but if not, I'll catch up with you guys later. I want to show you how gorgeous this event looks today. It's just beautiful in here. Lights, they put me in a daze And I can't stop but think about 
the way that you move around up and down on that stage is your future vibes. Bright lights they put me in a daze, and I can't stop but think about the way that you move around up and down on that stage is your everyone wow today is the big day it is the bocce finals so it's the four last teams we are one of them uh, two each are gonna play today at two o'clock and then whoever wins each of those games plays at four the final game so our, our lake club uh, my goodness like they put a message out to all the country club members and told them hey come out and support our bocce winners and uh, it's gonna be like a huge party. We are so nervous. So um, my husband, Mark and Gary, and a lot of the guys are actually in a golf outing right now. So they're gonna come right from the golf outing to Bocce. So I'm picking up Jody now. So hey, I'm gonna show you guys footage. Wish us luck. See you there. That can't be a good All right, you fight, guys, fight here we are <laughs> at our Bocce game one. Oh Wish us luck. I'm so excited. Leave them on, take them on, take them off. <laughs> I think I'll go home and take the call. You know, with all this cold weather, and I don't have a heater on my pool, the above ground pool. I threw that pool with the ground pool. It's still 78 degrees now. My mother's like, well, just send me a text. We didn't lose I know you're still there. You're on your way to Pittsburgh. All right, you guys, we lost the second game, but we're in the third game, so wish us luck. Yay, Jody! Yay, I'm the best cheerleader ever, but I suck at No, she does not. She does not in our little orchid! Woohoo! Okay, you guys, we have to win. win. We have I want to win. I want to be a champion. No, I just want to make it to the final. We want to be a champion. <laughs> so, we are the champions. We'll let you know. I don't know. We're Keep talking to Periscope. Oh, guys well it was such a fun night it was a great bocce season I'm so sad that it's over but we're gonna have the bocce party here at our house with all of our bocce team um, in October so I'm looking forward to having everybody here it was a great great day you know it rained this morning and they called for rain this afternoon but the good Lord made it nice and clear for us um, so at least the games were pleasant to play even though we didn't win but we feel like we did win because we have the best best friends and we are so fortunate so anyway it has been such a fun weekend as always I love bringing you guys along with me you guys are so special and amazing your comments have always just make me feel so good and I just look forward to bringing you guys along with me and I hope that you enjoy spending time with me 
um, when you guys take the time to watch our vlogs and all of our videos. So I can't thank you enough. So you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.